Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day eight of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. Again, I'm Linda Israel, and if you like my videos, definitely give them a thumbs up, and of course, share them with your friends, as well as subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. This is a collaboration with members from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and what we're doing is every day for 12 days is creating gift ideas or projects that you can and probably replicate with your own supplies. Today we are to make a wintered theme pop-up card, so a pop-up card. And I was playing around with some things in my stash and I was also looking at some digital images and I decided upon using some images from the Winter Bliss which was the subscription box. It's a digital download available in my shop now. I had this for the December 2017 subscription box, my very first box. So what I did was I printed what would be the inside cover for the subscription box on eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. It's linen, about 60 to 70, was it 60, maybe 80 pound weight. And I printed it on both sides. I then printed this postcard sheet and I want to use this postcard right here. And then I printed a fussy cut element page and I want this piece here as well as the wonderful winter. And I forgot to mention, I also want this little cardinal. So what I'm gonna do is trim these out to be the size that I need. I will come back and explain some of the sizes that I need, and then we will start assembling this little card. The elements have been fussy cut out, so I'm just gonna go over again what I'm using. I have the postcard. I have a little calendar card, if you will, and a tiny little postcard. Wonderful winter. This is a corner pocket. Then out of the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, I cut this to be a seven by 10 and then folded it in half and went around the edges with distressed ink walnut stain. I had a strip left over that I cut to be three inches long. Then I scored in the center at one and a half inches and then seven 0.75 or three quarters of an inch from each end I scored and to help know that where I scored them I folded them and then I put some distress ink on there so you want this little strip because this will be your pop-up mechanism so I wanted you to see an idea of using possibly a subscription box, a digital kit that is generally made to make a journal, but if you kind of work with it a little bit, you can make it into a really cool pop-up card. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make some elements that have some scraps of fabric. I've trying to use some of my fabric stash that I have leftover scraps from quilting. So I'm going to turn over this little postcard piece and I have this plaid cotton fabric and I want to cut it or tear it into strips. So what I'll do is go over here to the edge and about an inch over I'll just make a little snip and then I will pull and then just keep ripping. And then I'll clean off any loose threads. You'll have a few that pop off here and there. I pretty much got the loose threads off. If you want to use these for something, you can. Sometimes I'll stuff them into a little container and do something with it later. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna adhere this to the back of my card as a ruffle. And I'm looking at my card again. This is my top corner. So I will put down a bead of Aline's Tacky Glue across the top and starting to go down one side. I don't want to put it out there too soon because I don't want it to dry and I don't want to accidentally have my fabric fall into it. So I'm going to grab my fabric and touch it to the glue and then slide it over just a little bit. So I'll touch it and slide, touch and slide. And this will start to make a little ruffle. You see it's starting to ruffle up here. And I'll just go all the way around my piece of paper. I don't want to get this in my glue. When I get to the corner, I may need a little bit more glue. So I'll add just a little bit there. And then I want to 
kind of tuck and turn around that corner just a little bit. So you may have to kind of finagle it just a little bit. And rotate and keep going. And then when I get around to the other side, I'll snip a little piece, a little bit longer than necessary, and then just kind of put some glue down to work it in there. So now I have this little ruffle all the way around. Isn't that kind of cute? All right, so I'm going to set this aside over here out of the way with an acrylic block laying on it. I want that glue to dry because I'm going to the sewing machine later. So I just want to go ahead and put that down right now. All right. I have this pocket piece and I know I don't want the whole width of the pocket piece because it'll interfere with my pop-up mechanism. So what I'm going to do is just trim off, I don't know, maybe not quite two inches of this wedge here. And I'll go ahead and apply some distress inks to that edge. And now what I want to do is I'm going to grab some more of this fabric that I have here. So I got another little piece here. And I want to add a little ruffle on this edge, just like we did before with the card. So I'll just put down some glue and then just work this around. So now I've added fabric to that edge. So I'll set this aside again with another acrylic block laying on it just to help smooth that out. Okay, so now I have this little postcard. It's a tiny little postcard and I wanna make a little layered element. So I'm gonna round the corners on my journal card here that is approximately, what is this? one, two, three, and three quarters by two and three quarters inch. And that's just because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. I've already made a prototype. So I had an idea of what size to make everything. And I want a really cute ruffle. All right, so I've got this piece. It's gonna go in the center, but that's kind of plain. So what I'm gonna do is take this same strips of fabric that I have here and we're going to glue it to the back side of this and make it into a little framed fabric piece just like we did with the big postcard. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. It's inexpensive. It is non-toxic. It doesn't have horrible smells. It dries relatively quickly and it dries clear. That's why I like it. And I find that if I want to sew on top of an element that I glued down, Aline's Tacky Glue, once it's dry, does not give me any issues with my sewing machine. All right, so now I have another little fabric postcard covered. So, oh, my glue didn't stick because I got my finger stuck in it. All right, so I'm going to get another acrylic block and let that sit for a moment. I have, I have these tear-off notebook pads, and so whenever I finish one, I have this little piece of chipboard. It's a little bit thicker than cardstock, but I thought, why not use that today? And I have this little card that I want to use on here. I know I have a scrap of fabric still, and I've got a couple other elements. So I think what I want to do first is this card is about five by three and a half inches. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper and I have the snowflake border that I want to stamp in archival ink jet black around the edges. So I'm going to start here on one side and stamp and then I'll flip it around and stamp and I'll do all the side, four sides. I like that. While I've got my ink out, I'm gonna go back to this smaller card that's gonna have the little postcard and I've got from the Lace Duo. I like this little lace edge. And I'll just come in just a little bit and stamp on that edge all the way around. And we'll save that here for just a moment. Okay, so I want to put this guy on this postcard element. So I'm going to glue it down real fast. And I'm just putting a little bit of glue right in the center. 
And then let's go over to the sewing machine and I will zigzag stitch around this element. Okay, I'm over at my sewing machine and I have a regular sewing needle. I have regular black cotton thread. I've set it up to have a zigzag stitch. On my machine, it's electronic. So I have the stitch length and what is it? Depth, width, length, length and width, I think is what it is, is at two. So I'm going to start here in the corner and zigzag stitch around. So I've stitched all the way around. Let's go back to the main desk. I've got a little scrap of red paper here and I've got the Cardinal stamp from Beeline Designs. By the way, both of the, or th all three of the stamps that I've used so far are from Beeline Designs and I offer those in my shop. So what I want is to stamp this in black ink on this red. I'll stamp it twice. I like doing this because I don't have to color this bird in. I can just go ahead and stamp him out and then cut him out. So now I'm just going to fussy cut this up. Now I'm going to use some walnut stain distress inks and go around the edges. Now that I've got my little bird ready, I can do the next step, which is I've got a piece of this little fabric left. And I think what I want is to make just a little ruffle on here. So just kind of looking at this, probably right about there. I'll put down a little line of glue. And then just kind of scrunch this into the glue. Now I'll go back to my sewing machine real fast. And I'm just going to put a couple of stitches right there just to help hold that down. So that's been stitched down. Okay, so now what I've got is I've got this little bit of, it's a bright green. And I just thought it kind of fit. So I'm going to cut a little piece of it. So I've got this bright green little ribbon. And I'll glue this down. Just put a little dollop of glue, glue inside, and then set this down. I'll put a little block on it for a moment. And then I want a little piece of this eyelash yarn. I like it because it's kind of fuzzy and sticks out there. All right, so I'll put a little bit more glue, put a glue on top. Put that on there and then I'm going to put some glue on the back of this bird and I'll put that right on top and then I will use my acrylic block again to help press that all together. Since I'm making all the elements I thought I'd just go ahead and keep going. I don't know if this is long enough. We'll see. I think it works. So what I'm going to do is layer it onto this strip that I cut earlier and add some distress inks here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right down the middle just to help hold that fabric in place. And then we'll put Wonderful Winter. I'm just put a little glue right down the middle again. Put that right on top. I'll let this dry for a minute before I sew, but I've done the sew on that. So let's go back to some of our other earlier elements. I want this piece to go in the center. Isn't that cute? So I'll just put a little bit of glue right here in the middle and then press those together. And then we're going to sew on this in just a moment. So I'm going to lay it over here by my sewing machine. And this should be dry, and it is. And this piece should be dry. So now we're going to go back to our sewing machine and we're going to stitch all around all of these. So I'm just going to start in the corner and then stitch around this and that'll attach these two pieces together. And even though there's not fabric down the side, I'm going to go ahead and stitch all the way down and across. So now my little elements have been stitched upon. So let's start adhering and putting things together. I'm going to start with the inside of my card because I know I've, a couple of things have to dry before I can move on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue down this pocket that's going to go over here on the right hand side, but I don't want it all the way down to the fold. I want it up just a little bit because when I put this piece in and it is functioning, I want to be able to see the little journal card that I put in the back. So I'm going to get my little journal card and test to make sure that if I put this say right about there, it will stay above my little mechanism and yet it'll stay far enough down that my pop-up pieces won't stick out of the card. Does it make sense? I'm just going to put glue on the little tabs 
place it into the card and then put an acrylic block on it to hold it down for a moment. My little pop-up mechanism, the way it works is you want to fold these tabs in and it's a good idea to use a bone folder and really score those. And we're going to place this on our card right where the fold is in the center. So we want this piece there so when we put this here, it'll work in our mechanism, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of glue on these tabs and then place that in my card. So the glue's on the tabs. I'm going to line it up with the center fold. And then I'm going to place my little block over the top of it and let that dry for a moment. While that's drying, I know that I can go ahead and place this guy down here in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this into place. And I'm going to use another little piece of this ribbon. So I'm making a much smaller piece. And I was going to put it on top, but I've decided to put it behind. So I think that looks pretty cute behind there, sticking out just a little bit. Get a little piece of this gold eyelash yarn and that's going to go right about there so I'll put just a little drop of glue and then I'm going to use my cardinal on top to help hold it together I like it all right I'm going to put another acrylic block on here and then I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and then I'll come back and we'll keep building our pop-up card the elements have been sitting for a while so they're relatively dry i'm noticing there's not any glue sticking out anywhere so the next thing i want to do is put in the pop-up element that's going to be inside so i'm just kind of looking at the placement here and i think i want it where it somewhat overlaps when you're opening this so i'm going to put a little bit of glue on the front side of this little pop-up element position my card where I want it and then slide my card closed and let it come up for a moment so I'm just kind of looking at it making sure it's in the right spot and then I will gently close my card and I'm going to leave an acrylic block on it for just a moment so that'll dry while that's sitting there drying, I know that this will be the top portion of my card. So I'm going to come in here on the back side and glue this down. I could have sewn this to my base card, but I didn't want to see the stitches on the inside of my card. So I'm gluing it down to the front. So I'm going to move my blocks for a moment and then place this in the center on the front. And I'll just put my blocks back down. I may even split them up and I'm going to let that glue dry and then I'll be right back. All right, so the glue should be drying now. And here is the front cover. And I could keep embellishing, adding things to it, but I, I kind of like the way it looks right now. And then this is what it'll do when you pop it up. And here is our little journal card that we'll put inside. So that fits right in there. Isn't that cute? I thought it turned out really cute. I like the way this turned out. It looks like this may have gotten a little bit crooked when I put it down, but you know what? It's still kind of cute in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my take on making a winter theme pop-up card. If you, Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Definitely check the description box below for the other artists who are also creating pop-up cards as members of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. And hey, if you haven't joined the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, please do so. We'd love to have you. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. where I make a junk journal. And then I, of course, have tutorials here and there in between. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.